What's up guys, my name is Barry Michael Doyle and in this episode we are doing part 6 of our building a YouTube search application with React Native. Now in the previous video we got our search functionality working. So let me just go over to Expo. I've done some things here. But you remember we managed to get this array of objects from our code. Now let's head over to our code. In this episode I want to create the video list and video list items. So in order to do that, I'm just going to start with creating a component. And what we want to do is we want to implement this video list here. So in the future, I'm going to be creating a component. I'm going to create a component and it's going to be called video list. And we're going to get that from components slash video list. Now this isn't created yet, but I just want to implement this along. So if I can remember here, we're going to make a video list over here, which we shall import now, if I learn how to type properly. And this video list is going to accept the videos that we are storing in the state. So the state is going to be this.state.videos. And that's actually all for now. So I didn't even need to put it on separate lines because this should look decent as is over here. Now you may notice something. We've got this.state.loading and this.state.videos. So I'm going to make things a little bit neater by cleaning it up. So we want to get loading and videos from this.state. And that means we can remove this little bit of clutter here and it makes things a little bit easier to read. So this loading refers to lo this.state.loading and this videos refers to this.state.videos. There we go. Now we need to actually create our video list component. So we've set up the boilerplate for it all and we need to actually create the component and use it. So I'm going to make a new file and I'm going to call it video list.js. And over here, we are going to do our usual thing, import React from React. Now, this is going to be a stateless functional component. Now, this doesn't have a lifecycle method, so we don't need that whole importing component stuff. We're just going to implement it as const video list equals, and it's supposed to take props, but we just want to get videos from props. Now, this is going to return something. We haven't decided what yet. And I'm going to export default video list. There's our boilerplate done for now. Now, what do we actually want to put in here? Well, if you think about it now, our application, which is probably okay, it's all broken now, but I, I should have really saved things. But what we're going to do is keep the list of videos, and that's if you want to remember, those videos are going to stretch further than the screen could go. So we can't just use a normal view. We need to use a scroll view. So I'm going to import scroll view from React Native. And this works just like a view, except you're actually able to scroll it. So here's our scroll view. Oops. Scroll view. And inside our scroll view, we also want to add a view just so that we have something going here. Now I've kind of pre-planned this out on how we should make this look. So the scroll view in general doesn't take any styles, but the container of the scroll view should have some, it needs some margins. So we're going to make a styles sheet called styles.container style. And we're going to implement it over here. Now, I know this is a lot, but I'll explain it later when we're done, just to show you what we're really doing. So we're going to add container style. And we just want to add a margin bottom of 10, because we don't want, we want to have some space at the bottom of this whole view, just so it looks a bit neater. And then we also don't want our videos sitting right on the ends. So we'll put margin left and margin right of 10 pixels. Now, okay, this is supposed to be styles, so that's all sorted there. 
I uh, forgot my semicolon here, and we're not using videos yet. I'm not going to fix this arrow body style because we are actually going to add some stuff in here. Now, before I do that, let's see what's wrong with you. Okay, this is not closing it. Now, what we want to put in here is our... Well, we want to put our videos in here, but they all need to go into their own specific component. So we're going to put them in a component that we're going to make right here called video items. And what we want to do now is we want to take these videos, same videos up here, and we want to map through them because it's an array. So we can map through this. And for each video, we want to return the following. Uh, this is just me doing some shortcut code. It's that arrow body function thing that we always have a problem with. We want to return another component, which I still want to import as well and create. So we're going to be making another component called video list item. And we're going to get that from, from the same directory that we're in now. We're in video list over here in the components directory. So from this directory, we're going to get video list item. Now we still need to make that, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to create a video list item out of this. And we want this video list item to take a key and we want it to take the video that's actually been returned. So this video over here, now we need to make this property equal to this video over here. And we need a key. This needs to be unique. If you, whenever you map through an array of something and you return a bunch of components, you need to give it a key. So we're going to give us a unique key. And if you remember from our expo component, I said the e tag here was a unique key, and that's one of the root root properties. So we can implement that pretty easy by just saying video dot e tag. You could use the IDs as well, but this is just a little bit easier now. ES learns is freaking out because we haven't used video list item. But before I go make the video list item, we want to implement it here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say video items. And it's going to know to render, for each video, it's going to render a video list item here. And that's what this is referring to. So let's go create our video list item now. We go to new file and we say video list item. And we also put this in the components directory. And here we are. So our video list item is also going to be a just a functional stateless component. So we shall import React from React. We don't have to worry about importing component. And for now, I'm just going to return import a view. So I'm going to make this without any pretty styling. We'll worry about styling it up and making it really nice later because otherwise this is just going to be really overwhelming in this video. So we just want the view from React Native and we probably also need some text. Actually, now that I think of it, we need the image as well. And we can create const video list item equals and we want to get the prop video from what we've done so remember back in video list here we put this prop video in we're not going to use the key it just is important to have the key when it comes to mapping so we don't have to get that as well and use that in the video list item but we do need video so we're getting video from props and now we've got to do our usual code here let me export this as default before i forget uh, that being done, I don't have to stress about this mess now because now it does have video list item. I can see it. So what I want to do now is I would like to just return. And again, it's going to tune me here for this. Well, it hasn't, it hasn't like shouted at me yet, but ESLint will probably shout at us for not for returning something empty. But later on, we're going to add some other stuff. So I'm not going to turn it into an arrow body function. So I want to return a view. So for each video, each video, we're going to have a video list item and this view, we want our video to have an image and we'd like it to have some text. We'd actually like to have a few texts. So I want to get the, the title, the channel title and the description for this video. 
So we'll have a text for that. Those are three texts that we need. Oops. So I know I could have copied and pasted, but I'm just a bit lazy now. So we have the video in here. So for the first one, I want to put in the video title. So this comes from the snippet. If you remember from our stuff here, we have this, it's a video and then dot snippet dot chan well dot title so we implement that as follows we just take this video dot snippet dot title i'm doing the text first because that's a bit easier and we'll do this video dot snippet dot channel title and then finally video dot snippet dot description now i think for the image i'd like to take the the medium so we go to video.snippet.thumbnails.medium.url we want to get this url and we've got to remember this height is 8 180 and width is well we can stretch the width so what we want to do is we want to say let's split this over two lines because i do actually want to add some styles to this so we're going to add a style and we're going to say, what should we put in our style? We want to make this align self to stretch. So we want this to stretch across the whole screen, but we want it to have a height of 180. Now the reason this is freaking out is because we need two of these little curly brackets for doing styles. And that should be good. Oops, shouldn't be good. And now it wants us to space it out a bit just to make things cleaner. And again, don't stress about this. We're going to add some stuff later. In fact, now that I think of it, let's add it now. So I'm going to be adding a const style. And this is going to take a bunch of things. But first of all, we want to get the image style. And here we will put these details that we just made in here. I'm going to cut these and stick them in here. Right, so now we can just say image style in here. If we get image style from styles. So this styles over here is referring to this styles, which I always rename style. So we have styles and we're getting the image style from there. And then we're using it over here in style. So that's, I don't know why I didn't just do that from the beginning, but that's what I wanted to do there. Now, an image component also takes a source, and this is where we're going to get that, use that URL. So the source, we're going to use a URI, and we're going to get that from video.snippet.thumbnails.medium.url. I know it's quite a mouthful, but this is just kind of it. I mean, we're not reusing this anyway, so it's, it's pointless setting it up here. We'll just keep using it over here. So now we can actually go test our application. So let's head over here. We, as you remember, we took away the console log, so we're not going to see this stuff anymore. But what I do expect to see is for each video, we, we have our application here. And the application says we want to see a video list. And the video list looks as follows. It's just a scroll view with the container view and a whole bunch of video items. And each video item is going to look like this. It's a video list item. Those are all going to look like a view with an image that is stretched across the screen and it is 180 tall. And then underneath it's just going to have the text title, channel title, and channel description. It's going to not look very pretty, but it will work. And that's the kind of goal that we're going for. So now. Let me search. Oh, let's give Daniel Peacock some love again. Daniel Peacock. If we search, it loads and it finds it and something is broken. So I will be right back and figure out what the problem was. Okay, so I'm back and I realized there wasn't actually anything wrong. I just forgot to reload my application. Although while I was looking at my code, I did realize we've got some repetition here and we have to follow the programming principles of dry. 
So this is actually a nice way for me to show you how to really deconstruct things. So we have this video.snippet used four times here. So what we can do is we can say const, and we want to get the title. And actually, I'm going to spread this over several lines because this is just going to be big. We're going to get title, channel title, and description from video.snippet. Oops. And that means we can remove all this video.snippet stuff here. Now, you may think, what about this video.snippet here? What we can actually do here is we can get another thing called thumbnails, and then you can get medium, and then from medium, you can get URL. So all of that from there. It's quite a mouthful of stuff. Uh, sorry, that's not supposed to be a dot, that's supposed to be a space. And this URL, you can literally just say URL, which is pretty cool. I mean, we could have said thumbnails.medium.url, but this is just a handy way of uh, descripting things. Now, notice this is URI and not URL, so we can't do that other little hack that we always get away with doing. But this is just a nice way to deconstruct things and make things look a lot cleaner in your code. So I'll save that, and it shouldn't break things, but... Let's just hope it doesn't. Now let's go back to giving Daniel Peacock some YouTube love. We'll search. This better work. And there we go. It shows classic Dan swimming in his nice Florida stuff. And there's his face. And he's done some phone stuff. And showing off the lovely places he lives at. And I'm pretty jealous now. I should go visit. Now this is pretty cool because we got our stuff up and running. But we want to make it look pretty. So in the next episode I'm going to show you how to do that. Because currently... Well, if you look at things, it's, it's, this video has been going on for a while. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will catch you guys in the next video. And as usual, please leave a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to change the way I'm doing things at all, or if you're excited, or just say hi, I guess. Saying hi is always nice as well. I will catch you guys later. Ciao.